is full size. Um, uh, and it's one of a number of members of this family that are all used as a spice, um, uh, which includes uh, several of this kind of size. Uh, in fact, we'll pass another one, Nepalese pepper, later on, which is about this size. Um, some are smaller, so Japanese pepper, which is called Sancho, uh, is a smaller shrub, about more like head height. Um, it's probably better for small gardens. And they're all used as spices. So these fruits you can see, uh, uh, which are still quite young here, um, if you rub those, they also are aromatic, same as the leaves. Um, these ripen in um, September, and they go reddish. And unlike black pepper, where it's a seed that is the pepper, uh, on Sichuan pepper and related peppers, it's not the seed itself. There is one black seed inside each fruit here. The seed itself is tasteless. What is peppery is the little uh, papery shell around it, the fruit shell, basically. Um, uh, that is peppery and aromatic as well, so it's not identical to black pepper. Uh, and every species has a different aroma to it. This one is particularly citru citrusy. Uh, and others, when we pass Nepalese pepper, I'll, I'll, I'll point that out and you can, you'll be able to tell the difference in fragrance, quite a difference in fragrance for that one. Um, uh, so, um, although these fruits are small, it's actually quite fast to harvest. I harvest a whole bunch at a time, stalks and all, in September. Uh, I just lay them out to dry, under cover, usually in the polytunnel for a week or something, uh, and then put it through a sieve to get rid of the stalks. And the uh, the seed, uh, the fruit shells, as it were, the pepper, and the seeds all just go into a pepper mill. You know, yeah, you can take the seeds out if you want; it doesn't make any difference. And actually, if you buy Sichuan pepper, you often get the seeds with it. Um, but somebody's selling it by weight, so they, they get more <laughs> for their money that way. Um, so you know, that's fine. So you know, we we have that in a pepper mill, you know, on our table at home. Um, and you know, one bush can be incredibly productive. It's self-fertile. Uh, I usually pick about two kilos, and that's not including the, the really high ones. I, you know, I'm not going to. I'm not going to try and get the high ones because we've got more than enough as it is from one bush. So they're very productive as well. The young leaves are also used as a flavouring, uh, often in um, cooked dishes and pickles and stuff like that in China, and similarly in Japan for Japanese pepper. Um, so it's a, it's a multi-stem thorny shrub as you can see, but like most uh, fruiting plants, uh, the fruit crop is born you know, on the surface of the canopy, so you don't have to delve into it very much you know, to, get, to get many of the fruits. So it's, it's really easy, no pests, no diseases, it's a good bee plant when it flowers, um, about a month ago it flowered, um, all you have to do is harvest the fruits, there's nothing, no other care needed. So it's, it's a really and easy one. It's roughly a 20 year tree. Then. It's about 15. Yeah. It's about 15. Yeah. Um, uh, and just behind you, in fact, and above you, is um, a mulberry. So this is white mulberry, which is uh, just finishing flowering. You can see the flowers uh, on the branches there, um, just starting to set. And uh, I have several mulberries in the forest garden. Very easy to grow fruit plants. Um, they do need some shelter because the branches are brittle, so in, in exposed places you'll get branch breakages on mulberries. Um, uh, and I'll show you one, uh, this is not a name variety, but I have a name variety of a black, a, a black mulberry further in the forest garden, which I'll point out when we get there. What's the difference between white and black mulberry? Uh, well, they're different species, um, and white mulberry is not quite so hardy you, mm. as black mulberry. Um, but you can't tell what a mulberry is just from the fruit colour because white mulberries mm. sometimes have black fruits so, okay. you know, uh, it's, it gets confusing, uh, certainly. Okay, let's wander along a few more yards. Why would you 